Friday at Sun and Fun 07, we thought we'd catch up with recent changes made to Cessna's light sport aircraft. We did wait for them to open. Two, one, Cessna's open! Cessna World is open! Cessna World is open! We took advantage to go behind the white picket fence. Keep in mind this LSA design is a test aircraft. The interior is not representative of a final product. All details may change. Good morning. My name is John Doman. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Propeller Aircraft for Cessna. And it's uh, my pleasure to talk a little bit about the Light Sport Aircraft proof of concept that we have here at uh, Sun and Fun. And as you can see, the first thing that uh, might catch your eye is the sort of chipmunk uh, look that we have of uh, the new POC. Uh, that's different from the airplane that we had earlier at Sebring and last year at uh, AOPA. We have, uh, uh, we're evaluating the Continental O200 uh, air-cooled engine for this uh, airplane at this time. Originally, we had the uh, Rotax 912, which was uh, an engine that uh, actually worked out very well in terms of our uh, testing, and it's uh, a high market share uh, for other LSA, so we naturally wanted to gain some experience with the Rotax, and now we want to become more familiar with the uh, Continental O200. Uh, the advantage of the uh, O200 is that it's a, uh, a an engine that was designed specifically for aircraft, where the 912 has uh, many different applications. Uh, it's air-cooled, where the, where the 912, the Rotax, is, uh, is water-cooled. Uh, air being a more reliable cooling element than uh, anything else when it comes to flying. Uh, the disadvantage of the Continental, from our perspective, is that it's about 35 pounds heavier than the Rotax, which conversely is a big advantage that uh, people see in the Rotax. Both of them develop about 100 horsepower, and so the power to weight ratio is better on the Rotax. We've not made a final decision yet on uh, which engine we're going to go with. Uh, we like the TBO, the longer TBO of the Continental versus the Rotax, and we think that the uh, Continental uh, uh, is perhaps better suited over the long run to different uh, fuels, being 100 low lead and auto gas. We, we put the pinch in the wing here, the, in, in the wing route uh, on this proof of concept so we could uh, rake the uh, windscreen back at a greater angle and get a little better visibility for the, uh, for the pilot and uh, right-hand passenger. But uh, on future uh, evaluations, we're looking at whether this is the best combination or not from an aerodynamic standpoint. We uh, have had as, uh, as one of our targets on the LSA right from the start is uh, to make the airplane as easy to build, as simple, and as low cost as possible uh, so that we can bring it to market at a, at a very appealing price. And uh, one of the elements that, uh, that helps us in that regard is to make the wing a constant cord wing, high lift, but uh, there's a lot of interchangeability from the right wing to the left wing. All of the ribs are the same size, the ailerons are the same, the flaps are the same. Uh, and, you, and you gain that by having a constant cord design versus a tapered wing. We elected to uh, produce the proof of concept airplane out of metal. Uh, we think uh, that metal makes a lot of sense for an aircraft uh, of this size, of this complexity, and in the volumes that we uh, foresee for the LSA. Uh, Cessna has a lot of experience making airplanes out of metal. We, we know how to, uh, to build an airplane inexpensively and reliably uh, that's, that uh, holds up well in a training environment. The doors have been designed to the wide, uh, providing easy uh, ingress and egress. And as you can see, the uh, strut is moved to the back. These doors are hinged at the top, which is something unique for Cessna. They ride up on a hydraulic uh, strut, and uh, it makes for easy entry and exit from the airplane. Cessna told us that equipment options for the aircraft would likely include a full plane parachute. They also told us in which market segment they expected the most sales. We feel that a high number of these light sport aircraft will go into the training market. We're estimating around 70 percent. And that their decision on the aircraft was coming soon. Stay tuned.